What is going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new Civilization AI only battle. I know it's been like a week without one. You're all all desperate for a new one. We finally got one. We're on an Italy map if you couldn't tell or I'm sure the thumbnail or whatever the thumbnail was or the title didn't give it away. We're, we're on an Italy map. Now I'm gonna be honest it is not exactly TSL. It, it's the mods that I found that work in vaguely close places. A lot of them would have spawned in Rome so we had to move some as well, so it's not perfect by any means. But um, hopefully it will still be a really fun one. It was suggested, and there are some other suggestions as well that I'll look to do as we go into the new year. Um, and obviously this one will be the first one-ish started. Depending where you live, it may already be the new year by the time you see this. Um, <laughs> but there we go. So I'll quickly go over the map. We have got Carthage here, just with their own bit of space. Great for them. Well done. We have Malta. I made Malta a bit bigger because all their units died when I didn't give them extra land so we've made more it was one tile I've made it made it into sort of a little island here sorry that's why it looks a bit weird but um, yeah I made it a bit bigger so that at least all their units would spawn they should have another settler under here if they do not I will obviously just gift them one as we go two Sicilies here I split them up because you know why not I mean also I gave Malta some of the boat technologies same goes for Venice we'll, we'll get round there Rome is gonna play as kind of Naples because the Vatican is here and we I don't think they're supposed to have two settlers even under deity difficulty because their second city will not be a Vatican city name obviously because there's only one Vatican city but we'll live with it it picks a random one from um, I think it just goes by the alphabet list and it, in the test it picked the Aztecs first city so don't be alarmed I don't think they'll settle anymore after that so there you go um, Italy is then been moved sort of here again there were another one that spawned down this way in towards Rome or would have I believe um, would have this isn't a TSL map so actually everyone spawned in the wrong place except the Vatican which was just pure luck but um, yeah this map is actually the Italy map with the randomized terrain from the base game so it's interesting the terrain will be a bit messed up there's some random wonders around the map so yeah just to keep things interesting and it was actually the best map I could find that would actually load so yeah, we have Italy up here, we then have Milan, we have Monaco out this way, we have the Gauls in southeastern France, kind of, we probably could have had Switzerland actually, but it doesn't matter. Huge Alps, which is interesting. Venice is here, I, this island was not here, but I thought let, let's make it interesting for them. It wouldn't work with city-states, because I don't believe there's enough sort of spawn points on the map. So um, I, had to, I tried it with city-states and it crashed, so I had to turn them all off sadly and then it worked with all the mods so I'm sadly I'm gonna have to come down to pure luck but yeah it was the city state's fault so Venice is here instead I killed got rid of their great merchants and gave them some archers and all the boat technologies as I said so hopefully that will help them out and like I said their city should be safe because it's on a separate island so that might uh, they, they can play some role maybe they can conquer someone be kind of cool we have Austria and the Czech Republic and again sorry they're not probably completely accurate the maps very zoomed in and Wallachia towards the top here and then down here we have Yugoslavia as requested last game and Bosnia as well who actually spawned this time so that's great I believe that's everybody we are ready to go uh, Sardinia Piedmont did not want to load or be an option for me so they're not here but apart from that here's a bit of extra islands these islands are free for you know anyone to get to I've made all of the sea crossings coastal instead of deep water you can see you can get to anywhere as soon as you get a trireme so it shouldn't be too bad I mean as long as borders do not get in the way but yeah apart from that we're ready to go as I said I'm just gonna keep an eye on Malta as we hit the first go and if they don't have an extra settler I'll just hop in and gift them another one and I'm tempted to gift it to them over here although I'm a bit worried then the Sicilies would kill it but I believe Malta can go in the sea but, I mean we'll find out in the next few minutes anyway so it's not not a huge disaster here we go Malta this is when they just don't do it okay there you go no it's, it's there they actually, yep no so they're fine um, and like I said I believe they should be able to embark immediately so it's not a problem um, this will probably be quite a quick game compared to the last one for example um, there's only 17 or 16 sieves if you don't include I'm spectating somewhere in the corner here um, so yeah, it should be a quick game. It run it ran very quickly. The test took ten minutes to get to turn a hundred, so we should. We, we, I'd say we should hit it. I'm gonna obviously be clicking next turn. I'm a bit slower than the uh, the guy. I missed it there, so I'm not quite as good as the auto end turn. But there we go. So we'll go to turn ten, and that will give everyone a chance to probably put down their second city. Carthage having did have one of those days in the test where they start a bit slow, 
but because they're on their own it's fine they do get going eventually so don't don't panic but yeah they were they do get off to a slow start so that's just a heads up but some things have changed from the test because um in the test malta didn't have the extra tiles there was another sieve here that was called holy rome that i thought was a rome based sieve but it was actually a hre germany based sieve <laughs> vienna popped up and i was like no and then berlin and i was like um i don't think they're supposed to be here <laughs> They were they they probably could have been instead of Austria, but yeah, they were the wrong sort of wrong Holy Rome. But easy enough mistake to make, you know. I just scroll through some mods and search like Italy or whatever and pick mods out or whatever, so it's not particularly easy. But here we go. Most of the sieves now have two cities. Carthage still on one, although their settler is exploring. Uh, Malta is also on one, but they have more tiles this time, so that's gonna be more useful for them. Two Sicilies. Their settler is all the way up here. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but go for it. Uh, Rome have already grabbed King Solomon's Mines, which is an extra 6 production for Antium. So that's great for that city. The Vatican, there you go, they get Tenoch Titlan, which is an Aztec capital normally. They won't, I don't think they'll settle any more cities. I think that's purely alphabetical. Not even alphabetical actually, because America becomes before Aztec. So I don't know, they've just picked a random capital and gone with it. Here we have this Italy in the northeast. This is just Italy. We could call them something else, but. Uh, what, we'll, we'll call, we could call them Turin, I guess. But we'll, we'll just call them Italy for to avoid. Should we avoid confusion? Turin is up here, though, so that's more confusion. We'll just call them Italy for now. Italy up here. Uh, Milan has got their second city, moving towards the coast with the city of Brescia. Monte Carlo has been settled more inland towards France. Vienna, Vienni, for the calls, not quite Vienna. Venice is really spreading out their workers, of course. It's actually not the worst idea because there's no barbarians so they can't actually die as long as you don't get declared on so you may as well explore the workers a little bit I don't know if the AI knows that but yes that they are safe to do that essentially in this game and Venice of yeah cannot settle anywhere else so until they grow their borders onto this land they're not actually be able to use those workers anyway Austria then with two cities another one who slightly loses out to the lack of city states but not as much Czech Republic have made a slow start which is worrying but um there you go, Valachia got their two cities, as of Bosnia and Yugoslavia. But yeah, I'm kind of in the dark here, because like I said, the test run, I actually had to, you know, I did the test and there was a lot of things wrong, including that I forgot to remove <laughs> the Czechs, so that was a big mistake, they were still on Sardinia, so we moved them, um, but there we go. I've, I've just tried to balance it out as much as possible, as usual, we'll look at all the Pantheons at turn, turn 40. And then probably by then no one will have a religion or maybe we'll get the first religions through. But yeah, we'll just just let it run. Let those early cities now be settled. We'll see Rome, the first with three cities. As Where did that two Sicilies settler go? Oh my goodness, it's gone all the way up there. Most technologies, Venice leads the way, as does Malta. They did get three early ones as a bonus, so that does help. Bosnia, Monaco, a lot of nines. So yeah, they're, ca they're catching up. And we have our first wonder, which is the Temple of Artemis for Carthage which will be more food in this city Malta has also already got a settler out this way and uh, sorry a scout and another scout exploring the waters around them I'm worried for the Sicilies but yeah good start for Rome here it is still the city of Rome because this one's called the Vatican and there you go the two Sicilies that is not going to last too long I can imagine as Italy also now sends a settler down this way towards the Vatican with Medina and there we go, the Great Library goes to Milan. We've just come off a fantastic tool game for Milan with a lot of technology um, and science. So we'll see that Great Library, an excellent start for them going into this one. I also see the Gauls with a third city here. They will have to sort of fight along the top here towards Austria, but there is actually paths through the mountains. It's not completely impassable. They can certainly get through. It's going to be very difficult, but how the map's supposed to be i guess i do see uluru in there just like i said it's randomly generated terrain it's the map within the base game if you would like to play it yourself um i think it's called random countries or randomized countries i think and there's also the random continents option as well here we go then yugoslavia with cities three and i'm not sure that's not a chinese that sounds like a chinese city name but maybe not they had a fourth city regardless with that and Bosnia is also pushing north towards Wallachia. It looks like the Czechs may have broken, so don't pick them, sadly. It, it happens when you move the sieves. They are actually building enough units, so if someone declares war on them, they might kick into life, but it does look like it's too late already. Look, if Austria settles here, I mean, they're, they're going to have to fight their way out of a corner. 
which is not easy and Austria has two more settlers ready to go as well not really what you want to be dealing with early on oh Malta has made it onto Sicily there we go that's exciting news I really thought they were gonna settle over here give us like a little canal or something but no they just went up all the way up there fair enough you know you do what you want in theory I mean I know they haven't explored enough they could have gone all the way to like Sardinia you might see Carthage do it who do now have a second settler and then we go Stonehenge completed by Milan so they're gonna have a strong potentially religion and tech game so that's exciting and the Valakians up in the corner complete the Mausoleum, which they do have some marble, so they get a bit of a bonus there. Four cities now for the Gauls, and what we need to look at is the Pantheons, because I believe everyone's now, or at least some of them have been picked, four of them. So the Vatican Pantheon, Oral Tradition, one culture from plantations. Bosnia also got Goddess of the Hunt, one food from camps. Austria got one, Goddess of Protection, which will give them that increase in city combat strength. And Valachia got one culture from pastures. So a lot of the religions out here in Eastern Europe at the moment, but one there for the Vatican. And it would feel a bit weird, wouldn't it, if the Vatican did not start start um, Catholicism. But there we go, Statue of Zeus for the Gauls. So that's a nice little wonder for them. And we also have a third city for Monaco. Yeah, there is no way anyone takes this. So that's a strategic city I think that keeps the Gauls at bay you know they might attack each other but that said the Gauls are pushing through the mountains up this way towards Milan so we'll keep an eye on that how are you doing Venice they have a great um, great admiral there and a work boat I mean Venice will be a really big city that is the, probably the one bonus they're gonna have as Italy continues to spread along this eastern coast with another non coastal city just like Medina with and Palermo they obviously don't want coastal cities with Genoa which I guess kind of helps Venice because it means they're more likely to not only be blocked off by borders but these guys won't have as many boats to go after them so we could see a real naval powerhouse still in Venice which would be pretty cool to see Austria now with six cities oh my goodness but the Czechs do have a lot of units so there is hope four cities still for on oh, a new one here sorry four for Bosnia four for Yugoslavia just looking around that Carthage now has a third and they still keep it I think this is one of their original settlers and we have our first war Augustus Caesar has declared war on John Paul the first is that the, the second we'll see then can the Vatican defend from the Roman invaders we also have our first religion it is Catholicism in the Vatican so there you go at least we get some things bang on as you'd expect most wonder we've gone through the wonders you go turn 50 I just thought I'd go over this deity difficulty it is on standard speed I had it on epic and then I had to it did crashed with the city states like I said so then I didn't set it back it's okay standard speed is fine this could be a mini game um, and there you go Rome with those ballista units will that give them a big advantage they are going through sort of difficult terrain so I wouldn't count on it and if these Vatican units come down they could definitely defend themselves Valachia with the terracotta army which is probably good they look looked a bit weak up here in the corner without many units but they'll get a couple of extras an extra scout warrior composite bowman can't argue with that early on no new cities for Milan as we see oh two new cities here for already for the Gauls and we also see Monaco get their fourth city so hopefully that will sort of push Milan forward Milan are going all in on every wonder they can get their hands on they grab the Oracle this time so what's that they got the great library Stonehenge and the Oracle so that's science culture and faith sort of ticked off nice and early for Milan they're gonna be a powerful powerful Empire again by the look of it in the north and here we go second war Valachia and Austria teaming up on Bosnia um, I don't know if this will go too badly we'll see it normally it probably won't immediately and then we'll look back and Bosnia will have lost some stuff as Bosnia found the second religion of the game with Buddhism so there you go that's pretty pretty cool uh, five cities now for Rome in southern Italy two Sicilies I think they're gonna give us a real disappointing game so hopefully Malta makes up for it they still have this settler here not doing too much the Gauls found the third religion okay so that's good so we got one in the east one in the west and one in the middle and it is Confucianism up in the corner here so there you go that's good for the Gauls any new settlers for this Italy not just yet Rome or oh, Vatican is very close to falling 
be our first capital to go as Monaco completes the pyramids, which will grant them an extra couple of workers and some faster build times. And there it is, Rome off to a flying start. They conquer the Vatican City very early on. So yeah, they are going to be they are going to be a, a contender to be. <laughs> they're gonna, you're not going to want to mess with them. That's a great start for them. But there's a lot of space on this map. It is not going to be super easy. Uh, Milan has now founded Hinduism, so there you go, another religion. Done, and we get another one, Valachia with Judaism. So there we go, that's five, I'm not sure how many there can be. Probably five is probably it. Parthenon for Malta, so they're still doing their stuff. Carthage, of course, they are going to be coming into the game later on, of course, from down here in the bottom corner. But it's time to start thinking, four minutes to go, who you're going to pick. We're not quite going to make turn 100, as I said, obviously with me analysing things. It's going to slow down a little bit compared to the test run. But Yugoslavia joins the war against Bosnia, which is not great for the Bosnians. Um, who, yeah, their units were all sort of walking up to defend the north, and then they've just been, been sort of ambushed from the side by the Yugoslavians. And oh, a double war on Milan, and it is from two different sides. It is Italy in the south, and it is also from the Gauls. It's going to be difficult for the Gauls or Monaco. That is huge. They're already so strategically well placed to defend themselves, and then they get the Great Wall on top of that. That is great. That's going to make them very hard to conquer, at least in the early game. They were already probably the most difficult, but even more so now. Well, Venice is also technically really difficult. Actually, just because of how they're located here. But yeah, Milan, lack of units is worrying. But I'm not sure the Gauls will, even if they do send everything, it's going to take some time. And Milan with the highest average production. So that's also really good. Rome is looking very healthy as Austria completes Machu Picchu. And they're, oh, Yugoslavia and Bosnia piecing out already. They, you, Oh my goodness, Bosnia defended very well. There was loads of Yugoslavian units, and they seem to have handled them. That's interesting. Okay. Keep an eye on that. Carthage adding a fourth city and going for a fifth too. There are some units just exploring Sardinia, but there's plenty of space on the rest of the map for everyone. No one's really locked in apart from the Czechs, and they have a ton of units, so we'll see if they get into any wars. Valachia also piecing out with Bosnia who have just added another city. If they could get like one more here they would cut off all of this chunk for themselves later on. That would be quite interesting. Two Sicilies and Monaco now friends. Ooh. Rome now to class war in Italy. They are not slowing down. Oh no. Italy I hope you're defending ready for this. This could be a Roman sweep. <laughs> if not Bosnia pieces out with Austria yeah, Rome, Rome is looking good. Oh, no, there's another city for the Vatican. Never mind, they can settle more. It's another Aztec city, but there you go. <laughs> We've got some reverse colonial stuff going on, the Aztecs of Europe. Yeah, hopefully Italy can defend this, just for the sake of the game. Come on, Italy. I'm, I'm not going to go in there and give them some bonus units, but <laughs> we could. There is going to be other powerful sieves, so it's not a concern, but it would be cool if we had multiple sieves in Italy and not just one. Great Mosque of Gien there for Milan as well. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> sped through that and didn't read it out. Yeah, it would be nice if, you know, we're going to have big sieves all around. Austria pushing even closer here towards Venice. Very EU4-esque Austrian territory there. But it looks like Italy so far at least. Oh, this is scary though, but... <laughs> You know, if they bring all of this down here and all the stuff they have, they should be able to defend. And Milan in the Renaissance era already. Nice. But I believe we'll do we'll do turn 90. Okay, we'll do turn 90 and then I will make my pick too. It's going to be very difficult to make that. Oh, come on, Italy. Come on, you can defend this. You can do it. Never mind, they pieced out and gave it away. I, I, <laughs> Jesus. You can't blame me for that. Uh, anyway, Monaco completes the Great Lighthouse, which will give them a naval advantage which could be useful, they have one coastal city but that might be their best route to expand into Sardinia for example and Barubadur also completed by Bosnia which having a religion that's very useful for them um, so there we go, we've hit turn 90 we're going to make some picks now, it is very hard not to pick Rome, I'm, I'm not even going to mess, I mean I, they have the same amount of cities as Austria so there is other choices Milan's made a good start wonder wise 
but yeah, I mean, th these guys were probably supposed to stop them, and they haven't, and the two Sicilies bottled it, like, they should have settled here and focused on southern Italy, so I'm, I'm not in control of them. They actually did it in the test run, and then didn't do it this time, so that's not, <laughs> I can't do anything about that, you know, that's their own fault. It also looks like Carthage is going for them here in the fight for Sicily, which is quite interesting. Well, yeah, there is definitely other strong sieves out there, Bosnia put up a great defense there, Wallachia has a ton of unique units, so it is a tough choice, Austria could kill the Czechs here too, I really want to go for someone unique, but it's so hard not to pick Rome, isn't it, <laughs> hmm, I can give myself a shout out if I pick Rome, I'm not going to pick the Vatican, that would be a bad idea, I'm not going to pick Malta or the two Sicilies, Carthage is definitely with a chance, they do well, but they have to be able to get out of you know Africa like if they get all of this land that's great but it's not enough to win that would probably put you top five but <laughs> oh this is tough I am going to um, gonna go over with a curveball and I'm gonna pick Bosnia they they impressed me with that defense I'm gonna go with Bosnia I don't, I don't wanna pick Rome I always try not to pick the obvious candidate but of course you're more than welcome to let me know who you think is gonna win in the comments down below if you are interested in getting a shout out if you get it right um, but thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if, if you are not not if you're new. If you enjoyed the video, that would really help me out. And if you um, are new to the channel and have enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe so that you don't miss any any more episodes. They should be daily unless anything bad happens to me. But no, it should be daily. So um, yeah, I'll see you again with this tomorrow.